Arizona. Refreshingly healthy, naturally tasty. What up guys, it's Dreamy Genius, and today I'm gonna show you how to put the cool little planet in the background. First step is, you gotta have Pixel Film Studios. No, no, it's not sponsored, but we do need it for the tracking. And basically why we need the tracking for is, when you put the planet in there, we need it to stay in the same spot. So the first thing we do is bring up FPX Auto Tracker. So now we put it in a contrast area, you know, someplace dark and someplace light. This will give the program enough tracking information to track. So with this one, I started tracking backwards just because I don't want nothing to interfere with anything so I just started tracking backwards so as you see as I started tracking backwards the program kind of messed up and this is what I mean why we need to track backwards so we can get the full frame but since I couldn't get the full frame I just started manually tracking the last maybe three frames um, just to get the planet to stay in the same spot so now that I have manually tracked it now it's time to manually export the data great so now we have our tracking data next step is for us to pick our planet you can go on YouTube look at green screen background planet and boom you have your planet so now that I found a planet that I want I want to add a little bit more realism to it now i am adding another plugin for pixel film studios and no <laughs> no it's not sponsored but what this does is um it adds a little glow to the planet called pro Salt. so that's just add a little bit of glow because stars have a little bit of a glow as you can see i'm making small minute changes to the planet and as you can see i'm giving it that little glow that you see when you look into the sky um just to give it that extra added realism next thing i want to add is a little bit of gaussian blur it's the same thing just like with planets you're not going to be able to see a star clear as day just because of distance so the farther away something is the blurrier is going to look so we added that gaussian blur just to sell that effect just a little bit more okay cool now we're going to pick our planet um what i recommend when you do pick your planet make sure you do not cut the clip at all if you do pixel film studios is just going to put that planet in there as a still image so make sure you have the whole entire clip so we can have it as a moving image if you are wondering how i put the planet within the pixel film studios what i did was just open the drop zone click on the drop zone then click on the image now the next step I'm doing is putting the planet in the position that I would like it in. And we do that by moving the position X and Y axis. Um, personally, I like it in the corner. So once I get it there, I'll play it through just to show you guys how it looks. And that'll be it for this tutorial. I definitely have more tutorials coming. This isn't the only one. Actually a whole lot more that went into this video, like adding color grading, heat distortion, and sound effects. So if you really want me to go in depth with that, I can. Let me know in the comments.